welcome back to the second series. In the, in the previous series, we looked at uh, what personal development is, the difference between personal development and professional development. Um, we looked at, at the activities, personal development activities, activities that covers personal development. We, uh, now, we want to look at why personal development is important. I will look. I want to look at objectives of personal development, personal development goals, and pillars of personal development. Why is personal development important to your career as an educator, even to your person as a person who is aiming to actualize dreams and goals in life? Number one. Personal development expand your perspective. Personal development expand your perspective. Now, um, uh, a critical look at uh, whatever we do or at first shows that as far as educators are concerned, a lot of people do not know a lot of things. I was engaging someone not quite long and then of course, uh, he, he said there is no money in the education sector and then of course teachers are uh, the teachers are structured or education in Nigeria is structured for teachers to remain poor I said why situationally this is true but holistically this is not true um, I argued with him that it is also possible that you make a lot of money as an educator, even in a system that does not encourage that. I said that is one perspective. Educators can be rich people. That is one perspective. He said, and I, 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 I further to tell him that as a private school teacher that works so in in a particular place for two or three places, I am I am more than almost everybody within that vicinity. I said, apart from that, apart from being an educator in the classroom, as an educator, I also work, uh, I also have edu businesses. I'm an entrepreneur, and of course, I, I know how much I made. So when people tell me um, there's no money in education, I tell them no. B- because what, what could have afforded that? Because my perspective about no money in the education system have changed and I believe that as an educator I have the right to be rich I have the right to earn as much as I can and I have the right to live as comfortably as I can that is a perspective another perspective I, I do tell people that as an educator no matter where you are you can become global um, a lot of a lot of educators will come to me and say oh I'm in a local community uh, there are this and that. I wish I'm in Abuja, and, and I, and I, I, one of the things I tell them is, you are not, you are not to be in a in a city before you get known. Your work, even in the village, can speak for you. So, um, when you engage in personal develop, um, investment, your knowledge level rises. Like the chart we have done the other time, you move from one stage of knowledge to another, and then. As your knowledge increases, your learning capacity is, as you continue to develop yourself, your perspective about some things changes. Like I said, I tell people I am a global person. I, I command global respect. And I'm the, the place I'm saying is not even a city at all. As a current, I'm connected to um, educators in about 120 countries of the world. So your perspective begin to change when you begin to invest intentionally invest in your own development your learn your knowledge level changes your orientation about some things changes then you begin to expand your perspective you see more in the global arena you see more as a global player than a local player so engaging in personal development expand your perspective from being local even national to being global and then of course you begin to see beyond um, even 21st century to other centuries you begin to see beyond time 
you begin to see beyond your environment. You begin to see beyond the classroom. You begin to see beyond the daily activities that you do. So engaging in personal development is quite important. Number two is that it improves your personal strength. Like I do tell people, um, everyone has strength and everyone has weaknesses. Um, one of, when I, while, while entering, I was, I was very good with communication, but I was not good with effective communication. I communicate with good English, good, but most of the time when I communicate, people pick less than 50% of what I'm saying. Now, when I discovered that, I knew my strength was, um, I, I, I have a strength in communication, but my communication was not um, effective. So I needed to engage in communication skills, learning a lot about communication, meeting with, getting mentored, getting being coached, offer for strategic sessions. And then of course, making some practices uh, to improve that communication so that it becomes effective. So when you engage in personal development, your strength is improved. And more importantly, your weaknesses are turned to strength. A lot of educators cannot even face the crowd. Talk less of um, uh, facing a global stage. So that's a weakness. Other weaknesses could be ability to work with other people some of some educators cannot work with people effectively some people do not have um, um, work-life balance etc so when you engage in personal development you 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 tend to improve your strength your personal strength and also your weaknesses so so that you can become a better person whatever you are doing good you become excellent at it a lot of a lot of educators that's one of the things i noticed a lot of educators are okay or satisfied with being good other than being better or excellent or even exceptional so we um in the education space now our 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 major goal is to see teachers from being good to being better from being better to become excellent from being excellent to become exceptional and becoming exceptional in every area of life or in what you do is paramount in this 21st century because it is what position you for global opportunities exceptional teachers will be recognized in the 21st century because things are changing and that is what we want you to be so the the key way to become exceptional to move from that level a that that mr a is to becoming exceptional is engaging in personal development so it improves your strength Number three, it grows your confidence. When you are you invest to some certain extent in your in your person, and you become so confident in your ability to deliver every single time, it's like investing in uh, maybe your financial investment. You no, know, you you will invest financially maybe in bonds, so that you begin to look at yourself. I cannot get broke again. I can know there are some people in life now their the level of their level of confidence is so so supernatural that they believe and the and the truth is this is that they can never go back again because of the level of financial investment they have made the same thing happens with personal investment if you engage in personal development it gets to a level that you you feel that you are you the confident you are confident that you are better than every other person that whatever they are talking about within your organization, even within your community as an educator, outside your community, in the national, nationally, globally, you feel you 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 feel that you are the best. Like I do say, I am I I. It is not against say, I am the best in chemistry. I'm the best as an educator as far as Nigeria is concerned because I have a lot of things to offer and I've grown for the past ten years, going myself. So the I I tell people. Uh, and people say it's pride, but I, I, I don't say I don't see that pride. And that, that's one of the things we need to look at in the education system. It is not pride when you have reached to a certain level, you believe that you are you are less than what you are earning. It's confidence. You, your confidence level goes to some certain extent that you believe that the, the money you are being paid is not commensurating with whatever you are delivering. And then you, you, you begin you get to that point that you begin to select you begin to select whatever you do you get to that point that you begin to select whatever you do 
where you are going to work. I select where to work. I select what salary I'm going to collect. To be very, very honest. Why? Because the level of confidence is that I am so valuable. So, it grows your confidence. It grows your passion. You have uh, when you invest yourself in yourself to a certain level, the level of your passion for what you do increases. When I was entering, I I did not study education. Um, I had BSc, but when I started teaching, I started improving myself. I wanted my my goal then, my and and that's one of the things. My goal was that me starting to teach. I've, I changed career course from being a, a, a chemist or a scientist. I'm still a chemist anyway. <laughs> so from being a um, practicing scientist to being an educator. So I believe that. So when I was coming in, I, the, the, the goal is to transform the whole setup. So when, um, when I started to improve my how do I I started looking at how do I improve myself to become relevant significant I want I do not want to be a local person I want to be a global voice as far as education is concerned I want to be ambassadors for um, United Nations for African Union for ECOWAS for Nigeria as far as education is concerned I want to collaborate work with and become a chief voice at UNESCO um, World Summit I want to be a global teacher's prize winner I want to be a multinational winner of the year and everything like that. So, I, I, how they had whatever I want to achieve within limits, as as far as within my reach, as far as um, education is concerned. Then I began to work towards it because of those personal investment. My level for education, my level for teaching improves to the extent that I become so passionate about what I do. So when you invest in yourself, the level of your passion for what you do. To become better increases, and once the passion for what you do, for to become better, to become um, significant, increase, the, the your growth is limitless. You begin to skyrocket. You become a better person. People see you and say, "Oh, this is an A-list educator." So it improves. It grows your passion. It improves your focus and sense of direction. You begin to get something clearer. Your perspective begin to change. You begin to uh, understand and discover some things um, along the journey of personal development. So it gives you more focus. Oh, because I can do this, then I can start doing this. Because I have this ability, I can start doing this. Your 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 level of focus and sense of direction improve, and then you develop yourself in terms of human capacity. Quite important. You, de- you develop yourself in terms of human capacity. So, to this end, since we know that personal development is not an option, it is compulsory that we begin to engage in. Um, we 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 learn. We also learn that um, key objectives of personal development are one: we want to develop ourselves as a complete being. Like I've said in my definition, personal investment to become a complete being. So. Um, one of the key objectives is that you do not want to be just an ed- ordinary educator in every aspect of your life you are you are better you are you are exceptional you are a leader you are a follower you are a mentor you are a coach and you are serving all of them very right exceptionally well you are a complete human being you are complete you are whole as far as even your profession is concerned Another objective of personal development is you are you develop ability to work with people. A lot of educators um, do not know how to work with people. They don't know how to work with people, and of course, um, in this twenty first century, relationship is one of the highest currency. Ability to work well with people, workforce collaboration, ability to uh, go along with people, ability to network. Ability to connect with people at personal level is a a gold mine that is that all educators will have to explore. So, one of the objectives of personal development is that you become a complete human being, a complete being. You are you are complete in every aspect of your life, and then you are able to work with people. 
you are able to develop as a leader. Our goal for this training is to see that you you move from being a classroom teacher alone to be a community impact ambassador to become a leader a leader that can influence a whole community in my community today if i say we are organizing this program you you see a lot of educators coming in how do we how do i be of help you see a lot of people coming in. you become a leader within your organization you become a leader within your um um, within your community, you become a leader globally. So, uh, um, organizations are not looking for classroom teachers alone. They are looking for leaders who can influence decision, who can influence parents, who can make the organization to go, who have a global voice and are ready to take it to the global level. Uh, they are global players. So, becoming a global person is not negotiable now. And of course, you want to develop yourself, your brain, to the fullest and then you want to develop professionally these are objectives of personal development and of course since we know the importance now and the key objectives for uh, developing ourselves we want to look at personal development goals in the next episode i will talk about personal development goals and the pillars of personal development